Hello guys, welcome to today's video. I go by the name John Cryptoform and in today's video, we'll be discussing how you can actually join the Malda testnet. Malda has successfully raised over $52 million in funding. So you wouldn't want to miss this testnet guide. Now we'll be using our phone to perform this testnet guide and quickly, if you are not yet a subscriber and you are watching this video, please do help to hit on the subscribe button and like this video. Also share with your friends. Now, without wasting much time, let's go into the video guide. Now, the first thing we need to do is to claim our file set token for the ETH, ETH testnet token. So, you head over to your browser. The link will be in the description of this video. First, you need to claim the ETH testnet. All right, now to claim the ETH testnet, you need to go over to cloud.google.com. So, and then you paste your ETH address here paste and then you click receive 0 0.03 eth sepolia as you can see your testnet tokens are on the way this may take a few moments but meanwhile it has been sent transaction has look at it pending so we head over back to the malda um, testnet website so when you are here on the malda testnet website switch over to desktop view make sure your desktop view is always on and then you click the continue up to up here right here continue to up and then let's click it right away as you can see on your screen what you need to do is to connect your address connect address will be at the top right here click on connect address and then your address will be connected so the second thing we need to do is to claim file set as you can see here click on file set Remember, we have claim for that of ETH, so you click on file set. What you need to do to, is to click on continue to app as well. And then, as you can see here, if you scroll down, you see claim testnet file set, meet testnet USDC and WST ETH to your wallet on Ethereum Sepolia, Linear Sepolia, and OP Sepolia. Now, on these three chain, that is um, where we'll be claiming our faucet. So, but for us to actually claim on this three chain, which is one, two, and three, the ETH, Sepolia, Linear, Sepolia, and Optimism, we need testnet token on Linear, Sepolia. We already have that of ETH, Sepolia, that is Ethereum, Sepolia. We need now ETH, um, sorry, we need Optimism, Sepolia, and then Linear, Sepolia, which we don't have. So, what we need to do is to go over to Bridge. So, come, this link also will be in the description of this video. Come to bridge, um, we'll bridge the ETA Sepolia to OP Sepolia and Linear Sepolia. As you can see right here, we are on the testnet orbital.finance. So what we want we'll be doing is to bridge ETH to Optimism Sepolia and as well Linear Sepolia. What you need to do is to connect your address. As you can see at the top of the screen, connect your address here and then you can use your Metamax or your Kiwi or, or sorry or your OKS or whatever wallet that is linked to that you have your ETH Sepolia. Now we enter the amount of ETH we want to swap. So we'll be entering 0 0.001. I think the minimum is 0 0.01. As you can see on your screen, we'll get 0 0.009. So we click on bridge. So we click on bridge and then confirm. We allow the transaction to load. Now, as you can see on your screen, waiting for confirmation 0.02 ETH to 0.009 Optimism Sepolia. Now, we'll be doing that of uh, ETH Sepolia to Linear Sepolia, and you need to have ETH Sepolia in bulk at least 0.1 because the minimum you can actually swap from Sepolia ETH to other um, Sepolia is 0.01, which the transaction fee carries 0.01 as well. As you can see, we swapped 0.01, but we were deducted. 0.02 was deducted from our wallet. So what we need to do is to go back. Let's go, go back, got it, and then swap to linear Sepolia. As you can see, linear Sepolia here. You click it and then enter the exact amount again, 0.01 and then click on bridge as you can see that of this has been successful the, that one has been successful so wait for this to be successful as well as you can see right here 
Now, once, once this is successful, you head over back to the file set on the Malda testnet. And then for linear sepolia, just click on claim. Make sure your wallet is already connected. So let's click on claim. Sign and then confirm. This is for the linear sepolia. Now, if you don't have, if you have not breached this um, sepolia ETA to linear sepolia, you can't actually claim the linear sepolia token from the file set. As you can see, file set on linear sepolia testnet sent to our wallet. So let's go ahead to claim for Ethereum Sepolia and then we click on claim and then sign confirm as well. This will be successful as well. So we sign and then confirm. file set on Sepolia sent to your wallet as you can see right here now we are left with optimism so let's go ahead to click on optimism and then click claim we sign and then we confirm file set on OP Sepolia sent to your wallet as you can see we have claimed all file sets Remember to bridge ETH Sepulia to Optimism and as well as Ninia, Linear. Sorry. So we go over back to the main page of the Malda testnet. Go over, make sure your wallet is connected and then you click on Supply. As you can see right here, click on Supply. As you click on Supply, you will be shown this page where you actually supply the testnet token that we have claimed. So let's... Our balance, as you can see right here, is 2,970 USDC, but you can supply any amount. So we are going to supply 500 for the benefit of this video. Now you can choose which one you want to use, right? You can choose OP Sepolia or Linear Sepolia or um, Ethereum Sepolia. So for this, we are going to select um, Linear, but you can as well choose any one you wish to do. So let's go over and approve and supply. Confirm as you can see, approving approval pending. Transaction successful. You deposited 500 USDC. As you can see, our transaction is successful. So, what we need to do again is to um, enable our USDC for collateral when we want to borrow. So, you click on this after you have actually supply, you click on this tab, this here, right here, to enable um collateral so click on it and you can see enable usdc collateral you click on enable and then sign confirming as you can see transaction successful at the bottom of the screen now what we need to do is to go to borrow you can now borrow since you have supplied 500 usdc you can now decide to borrow so click on borrow these processes is not they are not hard actually you can do them so pay attention and watch this video till the end or to the end sorry so click on borrow as you can see available to borrow is 388 usdc so what we want to do is to supply again before we go ahead to borrow before we go ahead to borrow let's supply again so you head over to supply and then this time around you click on this place to supply eth click on the usdc logo and then select west eth right now we have 2.97 available balance so we are going to supply one or let's do 0 0.5 as you can see it's showing optimism so let's see if we can select linear Let's see if we can use linear 0 0.5 and then here we don't need to use it so we are using only linear approve go ahead to confirm transaction successful now we need to enable collateral for the WST ETH so like the same like how we do we click here 
and then we enable these are easy processes like i said so our total balance deposited is over 1673 usdc and eth so what we need to do is to supply for other um, chain as well so let's go over to click borrow again and then go to supply now we'll be using usdc but on a different chain so we'll click here and then we we'll go with optimism let's input 200 here or rather 300 and then we approve and supply remember to make sure you have breached before you try all this approval successful let's go ahead to breach to supply sorry now it says zk proofs are securing your transaction from op sepolia this will actually take some time so let's go back to supply eth now click on supply and then we click on eth now we'll be using the op as well we have 0 0.9 so we are going to use 0 0.2 Please join my WhatsApp group if you need further guidance on this testnet. Remember, we are always joining testnet using our mobile phone. You don't need to have a PC to join all these testnet. Now, the two transactions are actually um, on process. So, um, while we wait for them to confirm, we go back to click on borrow. And now, let's do for supply on ETH. Sorry, on ETH chain, which is the Ethereum Sepolia. We have 1,009. 190 cancel this please sorry go back to borrow supply and then let's go ahead to borrow on this we'll borrow we'll supply sorry we'll supply let's go ahead to supply on this we'll supply 500 as well and then we we'll click supply confirm Now, as, as you can see on your screen, it says ZK proofs are also securing your transaction on from the Sepolia. So right here. So I think only linear um, chain has the fastest um, supply um, speed. So let's go ahead to click on borrow. You click on borrow again. Now on a true note, we want to borrow for um, USDC. So we click on this and then enter our amount let's borrow 100 since we have the opportunity to borrow up to 1200 but we're not going as much as that sorry i had to cancel that um, loading transaction so let's go ahead to retry the process select this and make sure you're on linear we'll be using linear since linear is faster so let's go ahead to enter our amount 100 and then we click on borrow sign and confirm now let's borrow for eth as you can see here it shows that our we have actually borrowed 100 usdc right here we borrowed 100 usdc so um the next thing to do is we need to borrow from eth right now wst eth so you click here click here on your screen and then it will show you supply then you click on supply and then go to borrow go to borrow click on borrow and then you select here to change over to linear sepolia right now as you can see it's showing us this to borrow so that is what we want to actually borrow so we'll go over to enter zero point zero two so we we'll borrow zero point zero two even though we are opportunity to borrow as much as, as more than or more than that actually so let's click on borrow 
and then sign confirm As you can see, transaction successfully. We have borrowed 0.02 ETH, WST ETH rather. So go back and click here, supply. And now we want to repay back what we have borrowed, right? Let's repay back what we have borrowed since we have money to do so. Click on repay. And then you enter the network. So the chain from, we we'll click here. And then as you can see, you can decide to pay back from any of the chain so we are going to use the um linear to pay back so let's try to enter 0 0.02 that we borrowed and then approve and repay as you can see this is our sign confirm as you can see right here we did for eth wst eth now let's do for usdc right let's repay back our loan for usdc so we click here and click on supply and then we click on repay then we select the chain and then for the linear we actually borrowed 100 so we are repaying back 100 Sign and confirm. We pay pending transaction successfully. You be paid 100 USDC. Now you can see we are owing nothing. We are owing nothing. Now, the last step in this video is uh, go back and click here. Click on any of the assets. Click on the supply. Now you can withdraw your supply. Whatever we have deposited into it, you can click on withdraw to withdraw all the assets you have deposited so let's go ahead to withdraw um 100 usdc from the um 500 that we deposited now in order to confirm which chain we actually want to withdraw our usdc from you go ahead to select this destination and then you choose where you want to um, withdraw because we have actually supplied on linear sepolia op sepolia and the ethereum sepolia so you go ahead to select whichever one you want to withdraw but for me i will be withdrawing from the linear sepolia so just like i said input the amount and then you click on withdraw and then you sign and confirm so you see transaction successful we have withdrawn our part of our usdc deposited in the um supply um section now we actually we're supposed to do the Galaxy tax, but the Galaxy tax has actually ended. It ended some days ago. So, but then follow all this procedure and then you'll be eligible for the airdrop. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. See you in my next video. Bye.